Hello, boys and girls, and welcome back to the channel. Dave here, and today I have something. It's it's a simple video. Uh, our friend of the channel, Leon, ended up sending me a link on Amazon to some hobby knives that he ended up finding. They're from Japan. They look unique. Uh, what's unique about them is you don't change out the blades on them. They are a fixed blade. The price on them is super cheap if you end up needing to replace them. So I think they're about $6 each. They come in a different shape. And I just thought these were kind of interesting and everything. So this video should be a pretty short. We're just going to unbox. I'm going to show you what they look like and everything and let you know whether they're worth it or not. Because my trusted, trusted favorite, the, was it Tamiya design knife with the little mini blades is like my favorite. It's the only one that I end up using anymore. So let's see how these stack up. So without further ado, let's jump down the table and take a look all right so here we are with the i'm not sure what brand these are alex it makes your craft environment from alex a-l-l-e-x so i'm assuming that that is the brand made in japan of course these were from amazon got the amazon sticker on there and these come in seven i believe different sizes so you have this type which is like my craft knife right here the little blade uh, they have a regular traditional size they have this flat side they have a hooked one i believe and they have a number 10 style scalpel blade anybody that has messed with uh like surgical blades you'll know what i mean one is more of a number 11 blade the other is a 10 style blade we've got the flat blade and we have this style here now these are fixed blades the handles are they say they're nylon and glass fiber we'll see how those are they feel really light in the hand though uh, like i said these are going to be a pretty short uh blade thickness is one millimeter and that is just your sizing and stuff and anything on there no just fold it over cardboard so you do get a cap that goes on there um the handles do have a nice texture on them they are super light. You can see where they've pressed in the blade. So it is, you can't swap it out. Now, my theory is you should be able to sharpen these. They're not that sharp. Like, I'll, I'll be honest. Uh, even Leon ended up telling me that his was, he was not happy with them because they were not sharp. Uh, do we have a piece of paper here? Yeah, we'll use this. Yeah, just dragging it across, it scores it, but it did not cut all the way through the paper. Like I do have to press on there. So we can sharpen these uh, and I don't see an issue with that. I'll show you how to do it with just a sandpaper here in just a second. But it is it is pretty comfortable. Uh, let's see. I end up using it a lot this way. So let's see. And the reason I like the shorter blade is so that you can get in there and do it on this and you're not going to end up nicking your finger because I've completely jacked up this thumb. Uh, over the years using traditional blades um carving carving seems to be okay i don't think that i would trust this for uh like water slides and stuff i don't think it's quite sharp enough for that let's take a look at this other one this is the k5 ah, let's be safe let's put the cap back on cap actually fits pretty good so this one's actually a double bevel uh and it actually feels a little bit sharper than the other one so let's just do a rig. That was weird. That was so, that feels so weird. Like it scores the paper, but it's not, um, it feels like it's sliding across glass is what it feels like. So I actually got this because it'll be handy getting into little nooks and crannies. But man, you have to get, you have to get that, just that right angle to be able to get in there. I mean, and it does it, but it could be sharper. All right, let me show you how to sharpen pretty much any hobby knife. Now for this, I have uh, my Dispay hard uh, sanding sticks here. Uh, these are the aluminum ones and I currently have 400, 600, 800 and a thousand grit on here. So I'm not gonna go down to 400 because there's not any nicks or anything on there. like. They're sharp, but they're just not sharp. But I'll show you how to do it. Like if you have a blade that is really, really used, you can do this. And I've done it on, on my blade at least every other week and it really saves. So you wanna find the right angle. So for these, it's gonna be about like this. 
Now you can change your angle by really sanding it down and changing that angle. But for this, we're just going to do that like this and you want to just drag it. Now, uh, appropriately, this would be better with it wet, but I do it dry all the time. So you want to do about 10 strokes, flip it over and do the equal amount on the other side. Now, what you want to feel is on your edge, when you get to a certain point, you're going to feel a burr. And what a burr is, is where uh, if you're looking at, mm, I don't even have scrap paper. I suck. So if you're looking at the edge, you have the edge, which is like this. And then a burr is going to be the, like this little, little tinge that it hangs off of the edge. That's where you end up stopping because then it is nice and sharp. You do not keep going until you get rid of that. Doing this will also ensure your blade is flat. And no, I'm not looking to get sh sharp on this one. So I feel just a slight one right there. So I'm going to stop. I'm going to mo move over to the 800. And again, about 10 strokes. Now this would be better on a, a sharpening stone, which I have a set downstairs that I'm going to do a review for you guys to show you how to use that on your kitchen knives and also on your hobby tools. And depending on what you're working on, you'll end up catching a feeling of the right angle. And you don't really want to press. You just want to let like the weight of your thumb do the work. <clears throat> Normally on kitchen knives, you just let the weight of the knife do the work. And then we're going to flip it over to the thousand. Now, technically, if I had another one of these, I would crank it up to about a 1500 and a 2000 grit. But for demonstration purposes, this will work just fine. We got just a little, so let's, let's see how this does. So it still could be sharper on the edge. Let's see, we got a little nub here. Let's, let's try on this. Oh, much better. So this knife is going to be perfect if you've got uh, parts in little corners, like you've if it's all built and you have you want to get up in here this will be perfect for getting in there and cleaning up if it's all rough that's what this one's going to be intended for <clears throat> and we've already tested this one so let's see what we can do with it and you want to push the edge of the blade away and in this case, you want to draw it toward you. And once you do this a few times on your hobby knives, you'll you'll get a feeling um, and you'll also recognize the sound. And especially the better that it gets, you'll end up uh it'll sound smoother is how it'll end up sounding to you and on this i actually have my arm placed down on the hobby table so that it's in one spot and i'm literally just rotating my arm that way we're in the same angle and the same position with every stroke and like i said this actually is better if this is wet but like I said, this is just for demonstration purposes. Flip it over to the thousand. And let's.
let's test. So that was the that was just like light hand pressure. I didn't even press on there. So nice and smooth. I'm so screwing up my instructions. So that is 10 times better than what it was. And that literally took like two minutes to do that. All right, boys and girls. So are these worth the buy? For six or seven dollars each for the seven different styles, if you want where you're not having to change out blades and some of the styles suit you. I will probably end up using the flat chisel style more than I do anything else for getting in nooks and crannies. And if you're willing just to spend the three minutes it takes to sharpen them up, sure. I will post links down below to Amazon. They are affiliate links. So if you end up purchasing anything, I do get a small kickback and I appreciate that because it goes toward the channel. Um, but other than that, yeah, for $7 each, you can't change out the blades, but you can sharpen them. Uh, and they do seem to sharpen up fairly nicely. It's just out of the package. I don't feel that they're sharp enough to use. So that's about it. Like I said, kind of short. N no, not really. Uh, if I hadn't shown you how to sharpen them, then it'd probably be a different story. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you want to see more, make sure and click that like button. Click the subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video. Senpai out.